You know, it's come to my attention that a lot of contractors, home services, and local businesses in general want to figure out how to actually rank multiple Google business profiles in their given territory, right? There is some business owners that have a uh, business profile wherever they live, right? Let's say they live in a town with 30, 40,000 people, but most of the business that they do is in a town that's 30, 40 miles away um, that has even a bigger population. How exactly do you rank both Google business profiles and should you use one website to rank them both or should you use two websites to rank them both? Well, you got two options. You could do either one of those options and I'm gonna show you exactly how you're supposed to do that to make sure both listings rank extremely well. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys examples of exactly what I'm talking about here, but here's the premise behind everything. Ranking that Google, that first Google business profile is number one. Let me show you how you're supposed to do all this. All right, so for all you guys following my channel lately, what I've been preaching lately is that you need to build a really well-structured website that as close as you possibly can resembles the Google business profile that you set up for your business. So what you're doing with your website in a way is mirroring whatever you've selected on the Google business profile, your primary category, your secondary categories, all the services underneath each one of those categories. And then what you're trying to do is something what these SEO geeks and nerds called is topical authority, topical relevance. And you need to build out a website that's structured similar to this right here with a shit ton of pages that really hits Google over the head and tells the search in that you know your shit inside and out for your industry, right? So you need to build out a page, a website like this with the proper structure, enough pages, enough categories, enough subcategories, enough pages. So let's just say, for example, this is a 30 page website, right? This is what you need to do to make some noise online, connect this to that Google business profile. And if this is done correctly, this is like the absolute foundation of SEO and pushing a business listing towards the top. This is what you need, the absolute, found, like I said, the foundation, the starting point. And there's additional things you need to do, like the backlinks and getting citations done, the reviews, filling out your Google business profile correctly. But let's just say you're going to do that in the future. But in the beginning, this is what you need. Connect this to the listing, hook it up to the Google business profile, and this will eventually place you in front of your potential customers looking for the service that you have the moment they're looking for them and give you leads for your business. Now, let me get this out there right now. Even though I just explained everything you're supposed to do to rank a Google business profile towards the top of the search results, you need a really well-structured SEO optimized website with 20 to 30, maybe even 40 pages. Even after I just said that, there's still going to be contractors and home service business owners that are not going to do it. They're going to think there's some other magic formula to get this done and get backlinks and hire some SEO people and all this other crap. This is it. And what I tell people nowadays, if you do not want to play this game, don't play it. It's cool. It's going to be a lot of work and be a lot of tedious work building all these pages, building all this topical authority and relevance. I totally get it. You don't want to do it. Cool. Then think of other venues. Use Google ads, use Facebook ads, uh, radio ads, flyers, a billboard in your town, whatever you want to do. But do not expect to rank your business in the Google business profile here unless you do this or unless you're in an industry where like under underwater basket weaving in your location. Nobody's offering that service. Of course, you're going to rank there online in that in that situation. But this is what you're going to need to do. So let's say I'm a roofer and I just did that. And I did all that work to get this thing ranking and placed at the top of the search results. But I want to rank in another town that's 30, 40 miles away from me, right? So let's say I go out there and get a Google business profile, which I highly recommend. I know guys have gone out there and gotten four or five of these listings. They get the business license, they get a DBA, they get a different phone line, they rent an office, they rent a shop, whatever they have to do to get another listing. Um, and it's totally worth the effort, especially as expensive as ads costs, Google ads, Facebook ads, and all that crap. Um, if you can knock this thing out, get one of these things, some way, somehow, get another listing set up. This is exactly what I would recommend doing. So let's say I want to go here and I want to start getting found in that radius, in that location right here. So what are my options? Should I build out another website for this listing or can I use my other website to connect to that listing? And how does that whole process work? So this is what I want to explain to you guys to make it crystal clear to understand. So basically you have both options. You could choose either one that you want. I'm going to show you the pros and cons of both. But let me show you 
what you need to do. So option number one is go out there and purchase another domain name and build out an entirely brand new website and to connect to that Google business profile for that specific city in that specific location. So you're going to do the exact same thing you did for your original listing and original website. So in my example here, let's say Izzy's Roofing in Paso Robles, California. So this entire website is designed and structured under all kinds of roofing services pages and connected to this Google business profile. Let's say it's called Izzy's Roofing com easy roofing pr.com for my town over here right so if i want to use an entire brand new website you do the exact same thing we just did right here so what you do is build an entire new website and follow the exact structure and the same design the same services and everything you can't make the comp content duplicate but you do the exact same thing as you did over here but you set it up in this location and you could just name it izzy's roofing um san luis obispo or just keep it the same it doesn't matter keep both both uh, could be the same name, doesn't matter, but they're both two different locations with two different numbers. And every one of these websites has complete unique content for this specific location. Now, the problem with this is that you're going to have two different domain names. I don't know if you want to have two different domain names on your business cards, on, on your shirts, on your truck or anything like that. Uh, when you have what do you call a uh, social media accounts, you're going to have two links to going to each page. And I mean, it's, it could be kind of a mess. And there's some contractors that I work with. They just don't give a shit. They, as long as they get phone calls some way or another, they don't give a shit. They're good with this and they're ready to go. So here's the option if you want to build out your website with your brand and all that and show you exactly how you would structure that. So you've built out your entire website. For that example, Izzy's Roofing in Paso Robles, California. So I've built out my entire website. So at that point, what I need to do is build out an entire new location page. So this would be is these roofings forward slash SLO for San Luis Obispo, California, right? So now I built out another homepage on my main website here. And then from there, what I need to do is build out the entire thing all over again under this uh, forward slash homepage. So then I build another homepage and some instances I'll even build another about page and another contact page specifically for this location and branch out again. They do the exact same thing. So you're, in an essence, you're building another website, but under the umbrella of this one here. You see what I'm saying? So now you have two locations, and this one's just going to be forward slash for this particular town. And then this is the one you connect to that Google business profile. So you make the connection like that. So there you go. You have one business here, one business listing with the website pointing to this one here. Then you build out another home page and another bunch of service pages for this specific location they're connected together now they're pointing to this page right here to this listing and that's how you connect two google business profiles to two different locations it's still under the same umbrella and the same name same business name so now let me show you guys live examples of exactly what i just showed you here so this first example is for a gentleman who has the same domain name for two locations but they're connected together so I type in paving contractor, Roanoke, Virginia. You're going to see this listings here, Whitaker Paving Pros. And then I'm going to type in paving contractor, Oneta, Virginia, right? There's this other listing right here. You can see it's a different number from this one. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, when you go to this website here, there's the homepage for Asphalt Paving Roanoke. You can have services under this page here. So let's say, for example, driveway ceiling in Roanoke, Virginia, right? And then you go up here to the domain name, it says My Paving Pros. And you scroll down, here's their footer with that specific directions, different information, different listing, everything's connected on here um, for this specific location. Now, when you go to this one, Paving Contractor Moneta, same website, but now when you go to the listing, that's the website that's connected to the listing, you're going to see it's a different homepage. My Paving Pros, Asphalt Paving, Moneta, Virginia. You see how the URL is different, connected on there? Still the same website. And then when you go to the services, let's go to driveway ceiling. Everything's under the umbrella of Roanoke. Right? And you go down to the footer. This footer is completely different from the other footer of the other homepage. I even changed the menu for each location. So that's one example of doing uh, two locations with the same website. Now we have the other example two business profiles with two different websites. Same business though. So Asphalt Paving Contractor, Boulder, Colorado. You can see their listing here. 
It's ranking here as well as their website. And you go to the website and it's everything's about Boulder. All the services are about Boulder. Everything's about Boulder. Now, and it's still under the business name. Like I said, he doesn't give a shit as long as he gets phone calls. Same thing with paving contractor Fort Collins. Different. I think these were maybe an hour apart. Uh, he wants leads over there. He got another listing over there. He jumped through hoops just to get all these done. Um, and he got list license, everything legitimate in those locations. And you can see his listing set up right here. Completely different URL, uh, domain name, website, and all that stuff. Same stuff, same pages. And we're still adding pages to the site, by the way. And that's how we ranked both those listings in those different locations using two different websites. And in the other example, ranked both business profiles in two different cities using the same website. So I hope that makes sense. So there you go. That's how you can rank two separate Google business profiles using either one website to rank them both or using two separate ones. It totally depends on you and your situation on how you want to get your leads, how you want your domain name to be displayed on, on, um, on your equipment, like on your truck, on a wrap or on shirts and things like that. It's completely up to you. So does that seem like it's going to be a lot of work? Uh, hell yes. Anything worth a damn is going to be a lot of work. And like I mentioned earlier, I just showed you what it's going to take. And if you're not willing to do that, it, you know, it's cool. Use other methods to market. Just don't expect to rank on Google and generate organic leads that way. There's a bunch of other ways to get leads for local businesses and contractors. What I specialize here on this channel is showing you how to use Google, the map listing and your website to get you out in front of customers looking for the services you provide the moment they need those services. So if you're a contractor, home service business owner who wants some of this done for you. Don't really want to spend the time to get all this stuff done. Reach out to me in the description below. I got pricing on my websites and my SEO stuff and all that stuff to get things going. If you're a home service contractor or just a local business or anybody who just wants to learn how to build out websites, just like I show on my channel here and build them out in a way that is going to rank on Google, push those listings to the top. You can get into my to my school group where I show people exactly how I built websites exactly the way that I do it step by step. With ChatGPT prompts, it'll show you how to write all the content, how to structure the whole damn thing from scratch and make you basically a website designing pro, you know, and help people with their businesses or help yourself with your own business. So that's how you rank two Google business profile listings. Um, like I said, if you want to check all that stuff, it's in the description below. If you guys want to learn some more stuff about this SEO stuff, I'm going to put videos here somewhere on the screen. Other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. Till next time.